Yeah. The 10 best teams in America ready to battle it out. With 150 grand on the line. We have prepared our entire lives for this one moment. This show is the first time ever that roller skating is being appreciated. The passion, the artistry, the love, the connection. With somebody who loves me. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, the show looks so great. It, it was a does. sneak peek. We had so much fun doing the interviews. It, yeah, it was a brand new show. This is the first ever nationwide roller dancing competition series. Yeah, Scott and I had a chance to speak with the host Jordan Sparks and judges Johnny Weir and Terrell Ferguson, take a look. I don't know who to talk to first because you're so all accomplished. We love you all. Uh, let's start with Johnny. Johnny, tell us about this show. It sounds like so much fun. It truly is. And you know, it's uh, roller skating is something that has touched all of us, whether it's our parents, whether we skated growing up, whether we went to the roller skating parties. We all think we know roller skating, but Roller Jam flips it all on its head. The flips, the spins, the lifts, it is outrageous what happens. The best skating crews from across the country, 10 in total, get whittled down to one winner of $150,000 plus $10,000 donated to their local rink as they skate through the decades. Oh my we go goodness. from the 60s until now. <laughs> musical selections, costuming, choreography, it all matters. And this is the pinnacle of roller skating. It's like the Olympics of this world. And you will not be disappointed. Stream us now on Max. I just gave you really, literally everything. Everything. Okay. Yeah. No, no. It really takes me back to like, I, you know, of that generation. If you grew up, in the 90s, we all went to roller skating parties. Yeah. I just remember like waiting for the boy to touch your hand, you know, like all that, you know, it's amazing. But I feel like these kids aren't getting it as much. So it's almost introducing the awesomeness of roller skating to a whole new generation. Yes, absolutely. And it definitely is multi-generational. Like Johnny said, grandma and the grand baby can watch this show and have a little friendly competition on the cruise that they love. But $150,000 is a life-changing amount of money. So not only are we changing these contestants' lives with that and watching their heart as they compete, there's also a $10,000 donation to their local rink, which then in turn helps the community and the next generation of skaters. So it's really special for us to be a part of a show that's like this, that's giving back, especially at we're both or, or all at the top of our respective careers. And it's amazing that we can give back and pour into the next generation that wants to do this entertainment uh, in the same way that we do. So for skating, this really is for them like the championship. So it's really fun fun to be a part of that as well. Uh, Terrell, you have been all over the world with your roller skates. Yeah. Could you ever imagine a life that you were incorporating fun and skill and laughter at the same time? Well, I'm going to say this. I'm upset with Joanna because this is 20 years too late. I am now <laughs> way past my prime. My knees and my back are going on strike. But these kids are so athletic. I am jealous that they get to get out there and compete. It's not even the money. It's just the fun of competition. Yeah. And Johnny knows that because regardless of the medals, the thrill of being in front of all those people is something that they'll never forget, whether they win, whether they lose. And there are no losers. So whether they win or they don't win, <laughs> it's like, you know, nobody's a loser. But whether they win or they don't win, they will never forget this because this is the very first you know, national skate competition that's been televised. Yeah. And so, yes, yes, it's great fun. And yes, I wish I could have done it with my young legs. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you still got it. I'm sure you still, but I, you know, Johnny, I'm curious. Scott has always wanted to be a figure skater. Yes, I did, And, and you are a world-renowned figure skater. Uh, does it translate? Well, here's the thing. Well, first of all, you all know I trained in Simsbury, so very yeah. close by. Yes. So, hello, Connecticut. Yes, um, yes. And hello, Scott. But um, the thing is, on the ice, we're on stainless steel blades, so the friction of the blade against the ice actually grooves you down into the surface a little bit, so you really feel at one with the ice, as slippery as it may look. Roller skating is quad wheels, heavy wheels, 
on a very unforgiving wooden surface. That you, um, you, the mechanics of figure skating versus roller skating are quite different. However, Terrell and I have been joking a lot that we all glide for a living. We're all cousins. It's in amazing. This. So there's a lot of understanding that I get from my world, and hopefully I can bring a little bit of spicy magic from my world <laughs> to roller skating. I want to see you roller skate. <laughs> Bring it on. I'll come visit. We'll do it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I, I feel bottom heavy. I already feel bottom heavy enough, but I feel bottom heavy um, on roller skates, to be fair. However, Jordan did roller skate a few days ago. Yes, she did. I stood up. That's about as great as it was. I was. I did not fall, so I'm grateful. But I do have a six-year-old, and so I am going to get him some skates, and then we'll start together. So I'm very excited to do that. Well, congratulations Aww. to all three of you on your compliments, on your Accomplishments. We uh, thank you so much for joining us on Great Day. Thank, thank you guys you. so much. Have a great day. You too. All right, you can find the premiere episode of Roller Jam streaming on Max right now. New episodes drop every Thursday.